Hi, uh, this is Sweet Speaks. It is the 24th of January 2017. And uh, I was going to talk about, uh, well, the debate climate in Sweden, I think I could call it. There are two news that have attended my interest uh, this morning. The first one is uh, that the Sweden Democrats and their party leader Jimmy Åkesson are having a, an open meeting at the Culture House of Väven in Umeå in the north of Sweden. And uh, some of the employees refuses to work because uh, they don't like this party. And they don't like uh, the party leader and they don't want to associate with them. They don't want to serve them. Well, something tells me that a lot of these people are Generation Snowflake. And dear Generation Snowflake, if you are in the service business, you serve your customers. You don't ask them about their political opinions. And even if they tell you their opinions, you still serve them, because that's your job. And yes, I know I defended Merita Hodne and her decision not to allow a customer with hijab. But that is different, because she owns her own hair salon. But in this case, we talk about employees. They either do the job or they quit. And uh, the media says that uh, they are trying to get volunteers to, to serve at, the, at this meeting instead of the employees. And they, and they are hoping to, to find volunteers. It's where I would say it's likely they do find find the volunteers, but that is, I mean, that's not the point. The point is, uh, I mean, these people refusing to work, they should either quit voluntarily or they should be fired. Period. Uh, then there was another thing too, and that was uh, further south in Sweden, in Småland. Uh, there was a, Swede, uh, a social democrat politician named Roland Peterson who had uh, wrote, written on his personal Facebook page about uh, President Trump. Cannot some uh, bastard shoot him? And uh, although it was on his personal Facebook page, if you have political office, maybe you should think a little about what you write and what you say in public. And even if you write something on your personal page, it will still be considered public because you are a public person. If you don't like it, don't run for office. Anyhow, uh, the municipal commissioner in Kalmar, which is the town that uh, this guy was had office in, said that this was completely unacceptable and uh, and he has left, I mean, Roland Peterson, the one who wrote the stupid thing, he has left his offices, all his political offices. In this case, the Social Democrats actually handled, handled thing goods. That is not always the case, but in this case they did. So, that is nice. And uh, this is uh, examples of how the opinion corridor looks in Sweden. I mean, in the last case, he was actually fired and that's good. But on the other hand, in Sweden, Maybe more than in any other Western country, the debate has been very, how do you say, polarized. And sure, I am in favor of one kind of polarization. The kind of polarization where you show the difference between your ideas and the ideas of your opponent. Where there is honest disagreement. But what has been going on in Sweden for many years has been that if you belong to the Sweden Democrats, you are labeled a Nazi. And sure, the Sweden Democrats has some troublesome roots. And there have been some members of the party that have been not very good. However, the Sweden Democrats have been getting rid of the, these people. And uh, oh, I'm starting to sound like I support them. I would say, if I... If I would vote in Sweden, which I don't, because I live in Norway, Norwegian citizen, I only have my Swedish background. If I would, would vote in Sweden, I would vote for them. Not because they are so good, 
but because the rest are so bad, and because the Sweden Democrats is the only party that at least on some level understand how Sweden is threatened by Islam. And, and they are the only party who seem to understand that uncontrolled migration is a bad idea, and they are against the European Union. And that would be enough for me. I mean, I know they have a lot of things that I don't agree with, like their objections to NATO membership, for instance. I would very much like Sweden to join NATO. I live in a NATO country, which is Norway, and I think that's good. But anyway, but Sweden Democrats, their politicians, their members and their sympathizers have been uh, blocked by people on social media. They have been reject rejected jobs or they have been uh, stopped in their careers, have been fired. And even people who are not really Sweden Democrats, but who have said things that are outside what you are supposed to say in Sweden. Because as the Danish writer and historian Mikael Jalving writes in his book uh, Absolute Sverige, Absolute Sweden, I don't think it's in English. It's in Danish and there is a Swedish trans translation. I have written the Danish I have read the Danish original. I haven't written it, sorry. And uh, he writes that Sweden is, on the surface, a rational, secular, atheist country. Maybe the most atheist country in the world, it's, it's among top five, together with Estonia and actually Norway too, and uh, some countries. However, the Swedes are very religious. And the Swedes have been very religious at least since the 1500s. But in the 1500s, the Swedish government, the King of Sweden and the Church of Sweden, when Sweden turned Lutheran, they made the Swedes march ideologically in, in lines. And most of the people have been doing this. The ideas have shifted. In my childhood, it was social democracy. Now, there is some kind of neo-left ideas. Gender politics, identity politics, whatever it's called. All this postmodernism uh, is the dominant idea in Sweden. And uh, anyone who objects to this with more or less rational arguments is a racist. Someone not to listen to. I mean, I am happy that I don't live in Sweden. It's bad enough in Norway. Sweden is worse. So if you want to know what to do with your own country, look at Sweden and, and do something else. And this is my honest opinion. And although I have more or less given up on Sweden, I still hope that maybe, maybe even Sweden will be drawn with the reversing tide we can see with Brexit, with Donald Trump. With all these things that the tides are turning, maybe the changing winds will even reach Sweden. But I am not holding my breath. This is a sweet speaks. Have a nice day.